it's time for another review of Miraculous Season 5, Episode 20, Revelation. Oh boy, here we go. So this is mostly all on Lila. So we get to see how Lila works out. It's like, oh my goodness. So first things first, Lila actually shows that she lies to her mom, which... I don't remember her mom doing sign language, so it's not her mom, it's someone else. But either way, apparently she lied about lied to her mom about being in Sahara and Paris and Bullcrab and other one. It's like it just it's like, geez, how do you are able to keep all those lies in check? So anyway, she's walking down the street. <laughs> she doesn't want to even use her money and so she's basically used her freaking oh I'm an alliance I'm the AI for alliance so yep she used that to actually get on the bus and then she goes to Marinette's mom's painting class which means oh crap she's getting close to her mom then all of a sudden we got a brand new update because Gabriel's like I'm gonna force my truth so it can be true whereas Kagami and Adrian meaning that Lila got booted to the curb of being a part of the alliance what she does, she does actually cover her ass by saying, well, I wanted to tell you this, but you didn't give me a chance. I stepped down because I want to just be like you guys and harness my craft in painting. And you're just like a mom to me. It's like, what the fuck? It's like, it's too bad Marinette doesn't actually, you know, use this opportunity to be like you. And it's like, what the fuck? She's got too much stuff on her plate. It's like, Marinette knows how to fucking draw. Marinette knows how to make illustrations. That means that most likely her mom taught her a thing or two. As for painting itself, not really. But that doesn't mean crap. She does know how to damn ass draw. So, what the fuck? <laughs> so, she makes it to school and she founds a, I guess, a currency of France. She goes inside, and of course, everyone's like, oh my gosh, Kagami and Adrian, Kagami and Adrian, oh my gosh, I want to make a friend think about that. And, and of course, the close friends, the classmates are like, what exactly is this? Doesn't your father know that you two are a couple and Kagami and you? It's like, yeah, he knows, but that's what he wants to be real. But we know our truth, and we're going to continue on. <laughs> So anyways, we get to see the pregnant teacher again. So it's like good on her. It's like, where's her husband? But anyways, it's now revealed that Stephanie is so damn tired that she wrote her name on Chloe's paper as well. So it's been revealed that she has cheat sheets and everything. And the teacher's taken aback the fact that her star students, one of her star students, actually has been cheating for so damn long. And Marinette has been saying, listen, she's been doing this for three damn years. I think she actually deserves more of a punishment than the fact of she needs to catch up. He's like, yeah, we're going to give her assistance to catch up on her schoolwork. And it's like, for me, I'm like, I don't know what exactly to do. Do you actually demote her all the way down to when she actually was doing her damn work? Not sure. But considering she is kind of all right, I guess might as well let her, let her coast with her damn freaking whatever. Because she's like, I'm rich. I don't need to do it. It's like, I guess you should. You might as well just freaking graduate her ass. It's like, you guys have a two weeks left. Two weeks left of the thing. And then she's going to be someone else's problem. Might as well let someone else take care of that. And I'm pretty sure she won't really have Stephanie being around unless, you know, it's like, I doubt she's going to still have Stephanie in her school. Considering you're rich, then you should be able to go to a paid institution, right? <sighs> Anyways. Oh, my gosh. Anyways. Basically, Lila is down being like, let me handle this. And she's going to now try to dethrone freaking Marinette as class representative. Because lo and behold... She didn't actually talk to the teachers about what's going on with freaking Chloe and her problems in school. Which is like, we didn't know it's a problem in school. It's like, and plus it's like every teacher is able to take her side no matter what. Even if she gave evidence that wasn't presented until right now that she's been not been doing her work. And teachers will be like, nah. Chloe not doing her work, cheating, nah, that's no way. And precise. Mayor, remember? Mayor will fire the damn teachers because daddy! 
way. So it's like, there's no winning in this shit. There's no winning. So why in the world? What? You, what? You're just going to let her go freaking free and you're just going to become cast representative for some dumbass reason? I don't know why. So everyone is now, because everyone still believes in their shit versus only like the only ones who don't believe in their shit is freaking stephanie but stephanie has to do it anyways chloe but chloe is on her side marinette and freaking adrian i don't know if nico and alia is on her side because well it seems like she don't know <laughs> they don't fucking know so it's like it gets very messed up where it's like yeah the people who don't know that she's a pathological logical liar and everything and oh i didn't even mention what happened when she went to adrian's house the gabriel like what gives you didn't give me a heads up that you're updating it was like oh uh, well i just had my perfect vision i want to push it to make it true and he's like well what about me it's like what about you you're nothing and again she said you can't get rid of me of that easily monarch so it's like she is someone you shouldn't freaking damn trifle with for some reason this dumbass idiot does not know her damn ass power he does not know how messed the fuck up she is i think she he knows her capability but apparently he believes that her capability isn't like that overblown was just like it is she she fought she fooled your ass oh yeah no the reason why she get, he gave her the alliance thing was because there was a contract that she was supposed to take adrian from people who actually are bad influences which she herself fed you that shit in the first damn place which means that she already got inside your damn ass head means that she's able to fuck you up because you even believed her ass so it's like <laughs> this dumbass right here man he's extremely a complete dumbass now i'm sorry but he's a complete dumbass she should be an ally not a freaking enemy or adversary she should be a freaking damn ally and here he's being a dumbass anyways we'll be back all right so this one's pretty much of a doozy but of course marinette tries to convince nico and alia that a Lila's bad news, and of course, like usual, they don't believe him. Adrian even came out and said, and they're like, oh, look at that. He's defending what she's saying now. It's like, son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Meanwhile, over there, another table, <laughs> Lila's like, you want to take down Marinette, right, Chloe? Yes. Then do as I say, and we're able to squash her like a bug. It's like, what the fuck but anyways yeah the teacher actually had to think about this over lunch and lo and behold she's like okay sure why not we're gonna hold the election for class president anyways <laughs> we're gonna do a new one even though it's so late in the, in the freaking <laughs> school year so of course we got lila and she brings chloe as her deputy and she's freaking chloe's just smiling like crazy and it's like yeah you see well I believe I can change Chloe because, well, you know, people deserve second chances, and I believe I can help her to actually be, you know, better than what she is. And then, of course, well, Marinette goes with all you, and she's like, listen, we all went out. She got Ladybug, she got the teacher, she got me, she got you, she got all you, she got everybody to actually open their hearts and try to help her to make a change. But sadly, she does not want to make a change. So I'm not going to use extra energy on someone who basically has her mind made up and the fact that she doesn't want to change because having a big heart is a damn ass weakness. Yeah, and then all of a sudden, Lila's like, oh, I'd like to withdraw. She gave me the truth that, you know, I'm a big stupid idiot. <laughs> she called me that, and Gabriel fired me. And I thought if I could do this, I could actually be useful. And then she runs out of the room crying. Crocodile tears, of course. And the teacher's like, go out and help her, Marinette. You are class resident. It's like, the devil is a liar. Get the damn ass principal. Get the freaking damn 
counselor, school counselor. Marinette shouldn't be go there because, man, if they both have issues and been like that, pretty sure a teacher is like, OK, I'm going to handle it or OK, I'm going to get someone to actually talk to her and calm her down. But, well, you sent Marinette and Marinette gone and, well, Lila was trying to get Monarch to do it. Come on, come on, come on. I'm angry. And like a dumbass idiot, first he's like, oh, well, the anger's not actually to channeled towards me, so I'm good still. It's like, that's not how anger works. She's still angry at you. It's just that she cranked up hating Marinette higher than angry at you. After she's done with her, who does? Who do you think is going to go next, you dumbass? <laughs> so... The funniest part is be the fact of if she actually plays it right, she could just fuck you over right now because you gave her an illusion and now anything people see is actually deemed the truth. Yeah, you see how stupid this was? <laughs> and Marinette actually saw her and yeah, she got kumatized and Mar she went to Marinette and says, I'm not going to destroy you directly. It's like, what the fuck? So it's like, what the fuck? It's like, you gave her already the tools to kick your ass, Gabriel. I'm shocked that you're not like, oh, wait a minute. Because <laughs> she knows how to use that power anyways. Yeah, she got the essence of the fox. Yes. And it's like, you're an idiot. You're an extreme idiot. You're an idiot. All right, so let's see. So Marinette became Ladybug, and eventually Adrian was able to come, become Cat Noir. They go out. She, well, oh my gosh, Lila says that freaking Marinette is Monarch. And it's like, what the fuck? She's like, she knows it's a freaking damn lie, but yep, this is just nothing but a diversion. She is a freaking damn beast. So basically, to chase after freaking Marinette, which there's nowhere. Alia actually hides in Marinette's room because she knows she's going to come over there. And, well, she used Lucky Charm to figure out what needs to be done. And, of course, note they did get Sarah's father, the cop, took his ring off. So, yeah, the rings. But, anyways, she does Lucky Charm. She has to go back to her house. I thought she was going to do something sewing. No, she'd go back to her house. She'd go back to her house. Alia tries to jump her. She takes the ring off of Alia. Then after that, it's like, yeah, we need to do something. So what we're going to do is you become Scarabella and I'm going to try to do a diversion to get Lila out. So basically, Kaduar is almost screwed. And then there is Marinette. And well, the, the, the plan was set. Marinette said some kind words. And Lila decides to play off them and say that, yes, you're right. I shouldn't have become an evil villain. I renounce the... She already did that crap before. We already know she could freaking damn do it. Of course we know. <laughs> so, unbeknownst the dumbass idiot right here, big dummy, she went to N Natalie and basically put Natalie on the spell and said, show me all of Gabriel's secrets. So she has photos of Gabriel. She has the passport of Gabriel with a haircut. She has Gabriel's fast food joint. She has pictures of all of the book that all of the legendary book of the Guardians. She has a picture of Emily in a freaking in her, you know, capsule. So she has everything on Gabriel. And she was able to get it sent to her. And Natalie deleted all traces of what she did. And she went back to work. And we're, there we go. And it's like, oh, fuck this dumbass idiot. He's like, no. It's like, always Marinette. Always Marinette do Pang Chang. It's like, dude, do you not know how played you got? Because it was freaking Lila who told you that Marinette was a problem to your ass. And it's Lila who freaking broke the thing. It's like, she wasn't telling you. It's like, come on, Lila is a bad person. Do you really think that those kind words can actually get through to her ass? Hell no. 
<laughs> so this dumbass is getting played for a fool as well and he doesn't know that every secret that he has has now in Lila's possession and now she's coming for your miraculous dumbass she's coming from your damn ass miraculous she's taking it for her damn self now she is taking over like I said the future Hawk Moth number one choice is Lila it looks like it might actually truly happen too so damn <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna have to see what happens in the next episodes which i really want to see them now but i got all caught up now so oh yeah and note of course lila was able to become class president for two weeks with um chloe as her second command and well alia's like i'm glad you actually just stopped and allowed lila you now be friends with lila it's like no 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 i let her win to get this victory to show you all what she really is who exactly is lila so we'll see how that plays out i really hope it finally works but lila's the same person who's going after the damn miraculous we haven't seen what happened with kagami and felix in this episode so not sure if they actually ran off together so anyways whoa <laughs> this was a good thrill ride watching all these episodes back to back well we'll come back for episode 20 one